Righteousness exalteth a nation, but sin is a reproach unto any people. Why are things so bad in America today? Righteousness exalteth the nation. I mean, are the, uh, what's, uh, what's the stats? Who knows? Is 90% of the people in the nation serving God? Seeking after God? <laughs> Certainly not. Is even 10% honestly, sincerely searching after God? By the time you cut away the Christian cults, the Mormons, the Jehovah's Witness, the Seventh-day Adventists, right? You say, well, what about the, the so-called Protestants? Which, by the way, we're Baptists, we're not Protestant. But you look at the Protestants and they say, well, well, you're saved by works. Well, there go the Nazarenes, there go the Methodists. Well, well, what about the Calvinists? They say it's all grace, right? No, it's not free grace. God gives you that grace, right? So you begin to, well, the Catholics, they're trying to work their way to heaven. Righteousness exalteth the nation. So when you get down, we've got less than 10%. Less than 1% of our nation is actually saved, preaching the biblical gospel. They have the right God from the right Bible, the right salvation. Well, guess what? That's not going to exalt a nation. The majority of our nation is in sin. He says, but sin is a reproach unto any people. Because our government... And when, I, when I say government, I don't mean like the guy that works at the post office or the police officer that sits at the traffic light. The, the leaders of this nation that are making plans with international leaders where and how to steer our country and change our laws, those people are wicked. Yeah. They're working for the devil. They're allowing abortion. And not just putting abortion here. They're funding abortions in other countries. Yep. That is a reproach to any people. Yep. When your president is a pervert, yep. literally a known pervert, and that's the conservative choice? Yep. That's the Christian choice? Christians for Trump? Are you kidding me? You're a chump if you think he's a Christian. You're a chump if you think he's for God. Oh, well, he supports Israel. Yeah, so does the devil. He's setting up the Antichrist, and the Christians are marching right along with it, and God will judge that. Sin is a reproach unto any people. Yep. God will judge America because of the sin that we've allowed to go on. The abortion, the perverts in the, in, the, in the White House and the Senate and the Congress, they're all in on it and, and they're being compromised and, and they've got their game and they're after the people. They want to destroy the people, they want to hurt the people, they want to take your money and it's wrong and it's wicked. Meanwhile, they've got entertainment. They're trying to entrance you with some satanic music, a satanic song about living for yourself. They want to show you some television show about swapping wives and houses and stealing from people and getting away with it. Be sure your sin will find you out. Yep. Listen, America deserves to be judged. Sure. America deserves to be judged by God. And I just pray that He'd be long-suffering and merciful and help us get some people saved and those that are saved to get on fire for God and get discipled and get to preaching themselves. The only hope for America is if the true believers, my people, which are called by my name, yep. if we as Christians would repent and get on fire for God, God could save this country. Sure. God could save this country. And you know what? If God decides to split and destroy America for His glory so that the gospel would spread all across it, so be it. Glory be the name of the Lord. Yep. Blessed be the name of the Lord in what He does. I thank God for our freedom and our liberty that we have now. I love my country in the sense of, I love, I love, I mean, why would I, I don't hate Mexicans, and I don't hate the Germans, and I don't hate the Chinese. Listen, I want to see the world come to Christ, but it's not going to happen like the Calvinists or some of these others would tell you. Oh, we're just going to march this kingdom right on in. It doesn't work that way. Right. It happens by you opening your mouth and preaching the gospel. Right. And until you get on fire and get that burden in your heart for the lost, it won't happen. Right. You can watch your country march to hell, and, and the only thing you can do is preach the gospel. That's it. That's the solution. Righteousness exalteth a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people.